Hi developers, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil and this is part of React and Node.js project series. We will learn that how we can send JWT authentication token from React.js to Node.js. I already given you example uh, related to sending token in uh, second last video. The video name is uh, handling handle auth token in React.js. But that was a small example with single API. So now I will give you the full fleshed example with all APIs. So here we will cover all APIs with token. So first of all, I will show you what will happen if we will not send token uh, in API. After that, we will send token with all APIs, test all APIs with token. And uh, this is my Instagram account. If you want to follow me there and please subscribe my channel also. All right. So let's log in with the any user let's say my na username is peter at the rate test.com now uh, password is abc at the rate one two three and we can log in here so now you can see that whenever we are checking uh, the product list api there is a no result even we have 401 as a response please provide the token provide a valid token if we are seeing here Token is already given in the authentication, but this is not actually proper token because we have to add here bearer keyword, right? And th that's why the result is, I want to show you, the result is 401 because that is not a valid token, right? So let me add here, uh, let me try to call the search API. If I'm putting here, uh, let's say mobile, then you can see that we are getting a 403, that means there we are not sending any token inside that api right and that's why it will ask that please provide the token so we will correct that uh, token uh, we will add our bearer uh, keyword with that and we will send the token with the all apis also right so let's start with the first one and uh, go on the product list so in that page we have three apis get product delete product and search product so what we need to do here, you can see that in, as I told you in second last video, I already give, uh, give you the example at how we can send the token. So here we send the token with the authentication, but we did, did not add here bearer. So let me add here bearer. After that, uh, you can add here template. Right. So now let's see that this is working or not now you can see that we are getting here list but still whenever i'm just trying to search here something there is a no result right so we have to send that token with the search api also so let me add this header in the search api now it should work fine and now let's see so let's say i am adding here nokia so i'm getting the filter result nokia if i put here four zero then I'm getting the result according to that. That means everything is working fine. Great. So now let's try to delete that uh, some records. So let's say I want to delete here uh, last record with the Nokia 700. If I'm trying to delete it, again, it will give the same error. Please provide the token, right? Uh, here we can see that, please provide the token. So let's add this token inside the delete API also. And again, let's try to delete our product. So now we can see that record is deleted. That's great. So now uh, the next step is let's try to update any product. I want to update Nokia 402. So again, uh, there is a one API that will just get the detail of product that will not work. So again, we have to send that header inside it. So let's go on that page and uh, let's simply add here header. It should work now. One more thing guys. So there is another way to send the token on a single place because we are adding this token in uh, all APIs. So we can use the interceptor. But for that topic, I will make a separate video, right? Because I want to tell you that how interceptor is actually working how we can install it and everything so that will be a separate part for a moment we can we will add the this api token uh, with the every api 
so product list is there so and same thing what we need to do here we have to add uh, the header authentication header with the update api also so now let's try to add this so let's say price is increased by 50 dollar and name is also changed let's say 5g or something so if i add it now you can see that product is updated great so now let's go with the last one i am trying to add here new product let's say my new product is uh, techno max 2 and product price let's say 500 dollar category is mobile and uh, product company is techno so again it will give error as we know that we have to provide the token so simply just catch up this uh, token from here to add product and simply add the header now it should work fine so if i'm trying to add again you can see that this is working fine and product is added here so now we can check with uh, let me check uh, with the techno and we can see that everything is working fine so with that way we can add the token with all apis and uh, i will up in the upcoming video i will tell you that how we can use interceptor thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video thank you so much